Welcome students of grade 8. Today we're going to explain chapter 1, the immune response, cells, organs and molecules, worksheet 3, part B. The objectives we're going to explain are, list the organs of the human immune system, locate these organs and specify the function of each. Please prepare your worksheets, a pencil and a draft paper. Sit in a quiet place, prepare your tools, Stay optimistic during study and take notes. Watch the video more than once and ask your teacher for more clarification. The immune system is a complex network that defends the body against microbes whenever they enter the body. The immune system is made up of organs, cells, and molecules. We talked before about the cells. What are the types of leukocyte cells? Monocyte granulocyte, B lymphocyte, and T lymphocyte, but each immune cell has a specific shape of its nucleus. Monocyte has horseshoe shaped nucleus, granulocyte has multi lobed nucleus, B and T lymphocyte has round nucleus. These are the cells of the immune system, but what are the organs of the immune system? Where are they located? And what are their functions? So the organs of the immune system that we are going to talk about today are bone marrow, thymus, spleen, lymph vessels, and lymph nodes. Bone marrow. Bone marrow is the tissue in the hollow interior of bones. This is the bone and it contains inside it the bone marrow. This is the bone showing the bone marrow inside. And here is the dissection of a fried bone showing the bone marrow inside it. Locate the bone marrow in the adjacent figure. Excellent! The second organ of the immune system is the thymus. Thymus is the organ located just above the heart as shown in the figure. Please locate the thymus on this figure. Excellent! The third organ of the immune system we are going to talk about is the spleen. Spleen is an organ located in the upper left part of the abdomen. It's found under the rib cage and above the stomach. Please now locate the spleen on the adjacent figure. Great! But what's the role of spleen? The first role is to filter the blood so that dirty blood enters the spleen while it leaves it clean. Microbes in the blood are destroyed when they enter the spleen. The second role of spleen is to destroy aged blood cells. Normal blood cells can pass it through the lymph node normally, while the aged blood cells will be destroyed. The third role of spleen Spleen is the site of cooperation of lymphocytes in the defense against microbes. In spleen, pathogens are likely to encounter lymphocytes which then increase in number and cooperate in the defense against pathogens so that an immune response is triggered. Then, what's the role of spleen? Spleen filters the blood, destroys aged blood cells, and it's the site of cooperation of lymphocytes in the defense against pathogens. Please now, open your worksheets, page 11, and fill in the table by the role of spleen. Lymph vessels are special vessels for the circulation of lymph containing lymphocytes. The lymphatic vessels are everywhere inside our body. What's lymph? Lymph is the whole blood without red blood cells. The lymph circulates in lymph vessels and is drained from the blood to go to tissue, then it rejoins the blood. Please now locate the lymph vessels on the adjacent figure. Excellent! And now, open your worksheets, page 11, and complete the table by the role of the lymph vessels. Lymphatic vessels link a large number of lymph nodes together in the body. What are the lymph nodes? The lymph nodes are small rounded or bean-shaped capsules. They are located in many places throughout the body. Please locate the lymph nodes in the adjacent figure. 
Great. What's the role of lymph nodes? Lymph nodes are also the site of lymphocyte cooperation in the defense against pathogens, as the case of spleen. In lymph nodes, pathogens encounter lymphocytes, which then cooperate in the defense against pathogens. Please now open your worksheets page 11 and complete the table by the function of lymph nodes. This person shows a throat infection, which means microbial entrance to the throat and multiplication. Then, a symptom of the throat infection is swelling. Swelling means get bigger of small sacs in the neck, as shown in the figure. But what are the small sacs? Yes, they are the lymph nodes. Lymphocytes are present in lymph nodes waiting for cooperation in the defense against microbes. Then, after microbes enter to the lymph nodes, microbes proliferate in the lymph nodes. Also, lymphocytes are activated and increase in number, which causes the swell of lymph nodes. Then, as a result, after throat infection, microbe enters the small sacs of the neck, which are the lymph nodes. Then, lymphocytes cooperate in the lymph nodes to fight the microbe. At the end, small sacs or lymph nodes swell from the big amount of lymphocytes and microbes. Today, we talked about the organs of the immune system that are the lymphatic vessels, the thymus, lymph nodes, spleen, and the bone marrow. And we talked about the role of some of the organs, such as spleen, lymph vessels, and lymph nodes. Finally, don't forget your assignment. This is all. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Study well and keep safe.